What is up, YouTube? Michael here with Dark Cloud Vapors. Going to give you guys another review for the Chevy Bolt and the Comma 3. This right here in front of you, what you see, is the Comma pedal. And this is for anyone with a Bolt that has no adaptive cruise control. You can plug this into your pedal of your car, and this will basically give your car the adaptive cruise control and the ability to go all the way down to zero miles per hour and to speed itself up and when it breaks it also uses 100 percent full regen and i've seen it use regen up to 65 kilowatts on the interstate so it definitely does a really good job of braking and slowing down and whatnot um I will be posting videos of me installing this into the Chevy Bolt so you guys can see how it's done and how it works. And I'll post videos of me doing drives with it as well. Um, anyways, this video I wanted to touch base on because a lot of things that I had questions for when I first started Open Pilot, I didn't get answers to because I'm new. And when you ask questions, people are like, you need to figure it out. They don't tend to want to dive super deep into details of explaining stuff when you can look it up but when i looked it up and i looked at youtube and i looked at google and stuff i just didn't find a lot of the answers i needed and so now that i know this stuff i'm going to go ahead and share some of that information with you guys so this video here is going to be for the bolt pedal and this right here is the DFU key and the DFU key is what you're going to need to purchase with your pedal to be able to upgrade your pedal. Now when I received my pedal it had a firmware that had an issue where my bolt when it would drive it would I could feel like a motion inside of it and it was just a little bit of tweaking that needed done to the the firmware in this. Also there was a bug where if you press the gas pedal all the way to the floor it would cause a error to show up on your car and say propulsion reduced. Um, the newest update has fixed and correct both of those issues so as of right now there is no issues and it drives absolutely good. So that's what I'm making this video for. I'm going to provide you guys with the two files that you need to update your pedal if you have one or if you order one and it needs to be updated. This video is for you guys. I'm gonna show you how it's done and exactly how you use the DFU key to apply your software update to your pedal. So first things first, you're going to need your DFU key. The DFU key is what you're going to need to put this into DFU mode so that it lets the computer see it and you can apply the update that way. Um, never, one thing, just a warning, never, never, never plug this into your computer directly anyway. Okay, so the program that you're going to need to flash your pedal is right here. STM32 Cube Programmer, sorry. And I will make sure to leave a link to that as well so you guys don't have to try to type that into Google. Here's the link to it. And from here, you know what to do. You're just going to click get the software. Get it for a, your programmer, you know, for your computer that you're doing for Windows, Mac, or Linux. And then once you have done that, you'll be brought to this program right here, which will look probably more like this once you get into it. All right, now that you've got this downloaded, let's head in and I'll show you exactly how to update your pedal. So, okay, now what you're going to want to do this end right here That's it, you just wanna plug it into your pedal. Um, in shipping, mine broke off, but normally there's a little tab right here so you can flip the little switch back and forth. Um, i an idiot and I lost my, cause he sent me a new one and my dumbass has misplaced it and I can't seem to find it right now. But Anyways, I found this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one to do it. And I got this like little plastic stick that I found. And you can see, I can flip that little switch like that. 
but when you get it, you'll have a little switch right there. You won't have to worry about it. It'll be much easier than doing this. But what you want to do is you want to have this switch flipped over here towards the computer side, because this is where you're going to plug in to your computer. So you're going to need a USB-C wire, and you're going to need to plug it into that port right there. That's all you need to do. Now, to get the program to show your pedal on there, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to hold down this button here, flip your switch to the pedal, and keep holding this down for about another two to three seconds, and release. Once you've done that, done that, you're gonna go up here at the top, and you're gonna hit this refresh button, and USB one pops up. That means that it worked, and it is officially reading your device. Now right above that, up here, you're gonna click connect. So now what you're gonna wanna do is come over here to this little side tab, and click on this little download looking bar right there. Now once you've done everything I've said before and you got the download link to the two files that you need to update your pedal, what you're going to do is once you've clicked on this download bar on the side, you are going to come here, see make sure this address right here looks just like this and shows all the zeros and you're going to click browse. And for the first one, you want to go with the bootstep.pedal dot bin the longer one you're going to take that one and you're going to open that and you're going to make sure it is in this start address right here as you see and then what you're going to want to do is click start programming i've already done it to mine so i'm not going to do it again and then the next file what you're going to want to do is you're going to click browse and you're going to go for the pedal.bin file this time, the smaller one. You're going to open that one. And before you click start programming, what you're going to want to do is go over here and make it say, you see at the end where there's three zeros, you want to erase that. That's hard to explain. You're basically wanting to make it say 4,000 at the end right there, just like I did. So it'll say 0x080400000, and you'll have those three zeros at the end. You'll click Start Programming. That'll run and flash all that on there. At that point, you're done. That's it. Your pedal is updated and ready to go. You should be able to just click on Disconnect. Actually... I just realized this pedal I have does not have the new update. That's the one in my car. This is my other one that I'm sending back. So I can do this for you guys. So let's go ahead and do this. The big file, like I said, we're going to open that. Get rid of that 4, add back the 0. And then we're going to start programming. That's going to, boom, see file downloaded and complete. All done. Click browse. Get the small file. Go in here, erase that zero, and make a four, so it says 4,000 at the end. Start programming, and bam, that's it, done. Just like that, like I was saying, you're done. You can click disconnect. Now, as long as you've done everything exactly as I've explained, the way to check that you've done everything correctly is while your DFU key is still plugged in, you're gonna take that DFU key and you're gonna plug it back into your, your pedal. And as you see, bam, green flashing light. If you plug that in and there's no light, something didn't happen and it, it did not work. Also, remember to flip your switch back towards the pedal. Because as you see, if you flip it away to the computer, there's no light. So don't let that trick you. So make sure when you plug this back in, that that little switch is towards the pedal. And as long as you got a green light, you're good to go. Hope this helps some people out. Um, I'll also make a video disassembling, taking this apart, 
and showing you how to do measurements because sometimes he'll request measurements if there's a new update or something that he wants to do or something needs tweaked um so the more people that know how to do that the better because then the more people that can provide him data the more dialed in everything could be so i hope this helped somebody out there if you got any questions or comments make sure you throw them down below um, other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that i was able to help you get your pedal updated so make sure to look down in the bottom in the description for the download links to the pedal updates as well as the website to get the stm32 cube programmer all right see you guys later